DJ here, Isle of Stipe, and I wanted to talk a little bit, bit about mushrooms, but first, I'm going to play a song about turtles. I've seen Jesus play with flames in a lake of fire that I was standing in. Met the devil in Seattle. It's been nine months inside the lion's den. I met Booty at another time. Show me no line of faith. Yet I swear that God is there every time I stare into the eyes of my best friend. Just my son, it's all been done. One day you're gonna wake up old and gray. So go and try and have some fun. So warmth to everyone you meet and greet and cheat along the way. There's a gateway in our minds that leads somewhere out there, far beyond this plane. Where reptile aliens made of light cut you open and pull out all your pain. Tell me how you make illegal something that we all make in our praise. Some say you might go crazy Then again it might make you go sane Every time I take a look Inside that old and fabled book I'm blinded and reminded of The pain caused by some old man in the sky LSD, psilocybin, DMT, they all change the way I see, but love's the only thing that ever saved my life. So don't waste your mind on nursery rhymes or fairy tales of blood and wine, it's turtles all the way down the line. So they each their own till we go home To other realms our souls will roam To and through the myth that we all call space and time Alright. That's the tune, and I like that tune. Number one, because it's Sergio Simpson and I just dig him, and because it's kind of just this authentic country stuff at its um, sonic core but I think it reaches out into different um, topics and I dig that um, that song specifically in particular and it's on my mind because on the desk of Gavin Newsom right now is a bill that is going to that should he sign it would decriminalize the use and possession of certain psychedelic substances such as psilocybin and they're natural, all of them. DMT and um, mescaline, which comes from cactuses. DMT comes from like ayahuasca and uh, other um, other plants in our brains, actually, which is what that song kind of was alluding to. But I just want to say, like, it might come as a surprise to y'all out there, but I am very much pro use of mind expanding expanding substances like mushrooms and um, ayahuasca which i've never tried other things to reach a place inside us that we maybe can't reach otherwise uh, I've, I've seen it at play i've seen it change people's lives um i've seen it used to party too and i've never seen it really harm anybody but uh, there's certainly uh, approaches to 
those substances that can really be profound um, and help with things like depression, anxiety, PTSD, um, lots of stuff. And we, we're lucky to live in a time where we're starting to do more studies about that and stuff. And right now the, the big opposition is that we don't have enough data, but uh, that's where we're at right now. We're gathering data and data is power. And I don't know, it just, it's something I believe in firmly, if you can believe it. Yes, I know. But, I mean, my last name is Stipe. I do connect to mushrooms in all the ways because I really, they make up a part of my identity. But I just wanted to officially come out and say that, um, you know, that there's good stuff out there that we've been kind of running from, that we've been protecting people from, and all the while pushing bad shit also that... Um, I've seen destroy lives, um, very close people's lives. So, um, just like anything, use it wisely. Be safe, have the right intention, prepare for it. Think about how you're going to integrate what you learn into your experiences going forward. Uh, because you have the most profound experience and it just, it's not going to matter if you don't take that into your real life because um, um, that's how the power happens. It, it breaks down all of your lies that you tell yourself and eventually you're able to see the things that you need to see. And if you learn from that, take it into your life, you can have really um, profound changes happen and whatever. I think a lot of people have preconceived notions about these substances and I hope that uh, I hope that this bill passes and that we're able to get some studies around it and start seeing it change people's lives.